Good day boys and girls, especially to all our titos out there. We're out with another video. This is Albert and you are watching Tito Tips. And if you are into EDC fragrances and other men's stuff, you are in the right place. Today we're gonna be talking about probably the most practical multi-carry for everyone who loves outdoors. But regardless of your interest, this tool offers wide variety of application whether you're in the city or anywhere in the jungle sitting pretty. We have a lot to talk about this bad boy but I promise that this is gonna be short. Sana lang. So buckle up and let's dive right into it. Mga Chong, today we're gonna be looking at Victorinox Huntsman, which is probably one of their best sellers and I will be talking you through what's in it and I will show you why it's an excellent choice to carry outdoors. Ever since when I was a kid, when I was a little boy, I dreamed of owning a Victorinox Multi-2. Then I entered VSP or Boy Scout of the Philippines program like most of you did and realized that a blade in my pocket even if it's just as tiny as a razor blade would be a cool and useful in case of emergency at kung naka experience ka maging boy scout or pathfinder for sure na train ka ng basic survival skills and this might be something that you are familiar with i know that most of you started out in this hobby of collecting knives with something like this pero before tayo lumayo let's talk about the brand very quickly and how it all started. In 1884, Carl Elsinor I opened a knife cutler's workshop in Ibach or Ibach, Swiss. Victorinox stands for quality, functionality, innovations, and iconic design, and it has done it for more than 130 years. The brand name is derived from his mother's name, Victoria, and Inox, which I will talk about later. Today, Victorinox is a global company with five product categories. Swiss Army knives, household and professional knives, watches, travel gear, and interestingly, fragrances. The Huntsman's earliest version first appeared in a Canadian distributor catalog in 1980. It has an authentic staghorn scale and was later replaced with a classic red scale like what most basic models that we would see today has, including the Huntsman US model 55201 issued to the Boy Scout of America. Now let's go to the overall look. This particular model 1.3713 in red also comes in different colors and versions. It measures 91 by 26 by 21 millimeters and weighs only 97 grams. It has more or less 15 functions na mas marami pa kesa sa mga pecking friends mo. And I will show them to you in a bit later. It has 4 layers which is not very bulky in my opinion, thus providing a decent grip just enough to enclose it to your hands. It is very comfortable to hold whether you are right or left-handed. The overall dimension is just right to fit even in your tight jeans without sacrificing comfort. The scale is made of glossy plastic material which is prone to scratches but tough enough to receive heavy beating. And of course, you will see the cross and shield emblem made out of extremely thin metal foil. And do you know that on this specific model, the logo was inspected meticulously by measuring it under the microscope before it gets released? This is to ensure uniformity and quality. With that level of attention to details, anong aral ang makukuha natin dito? Well, it's simple. Your name and your identity is your most valuable asset. All your achievements in life are built upon your name and your identity. So it's vital na alam mo kung ano at sino ka. Hindi ka na dapat nalilito sa mga bagay na yan. So, ingatan mo yan. Now, let's go to the primary feature of this model. And that is no other than its knife. Not just one, but two knives. While one is significantly longer than the other, both blades are drop point and were made from inox stainless steel, as many people would call it. A technique and a formula composed of iron and chromium of not less than 10.5%. But there are different types of inox with different iron chromium concentration. But in Victorinox, it is 85% iron, 13% chromium, 
and the rest are traces of metals, making it durable enough to withstand moderate to heavy use with longer blade retention and is so easy to sharpen. For this size, hindi na nila kailangan ng lock kasi obviously hindi naman siya intended for stabbing or uh, trusting. Diba? But despite of the size, always put it in your luggage when you're traveling by plane. Kasi sayang naman kung ma-confiscate lang siya ng airport security, di ba? The small blade, which I prefer to use more often, is perfect for opening letters and boxes. It can easily be maneuvered like uh, a scalpel if you're into sculpting or working on projects like scrapbooks or miniature action figures. The large blade is great for peeling and slicing fruits. I do not use this as my main blade or any blade on Victorinox for that matter because I prefer something that I can just flick open in a flash. My favorite tool here is the scissors. It looks uncomfortable to use at first but it is big enough to maneuver nonetheless. It would not provide you with a faster cutting speed than a solitary scissors would but size-wise, it's comfortable enough to use if you need a, a precise cut and in my opinion it has better scissors than leatherman tti charge or even Le leatherman wave it's great for cutting wires tapes fingernails i repeat finger nails not finger not nails fingernails cats enchantes and also, don't even think of trimming your nasal hair with this. And because this is designed and engineered for outdoor activities, it also has a wood saw with an SW7N type cross cutting edge, which means it can cut through hard thin wood with ease compared to a rib cut saw. And it is great for cutting small trunks and branches if you need for example a tent peg whoever designed this undoubtedly has a long experience in building stuff right next to the scissors is a can opener na hindi hindi magmimintes wow. mga chong don't be fooled by its size because this is tough as a tank maybe that's a bit exaggerated but this would last longer than a generic can opener na mabibili mo sa mall it also has a 3mm screwdriver on the opposite side. It also has a bottle opener with a stripper. NANI?! <laughs> a wire stripper. And a 6mm flathead screwdriver that has a very well thought out design because it has two stops. The first one is a 90 degree stop that will give you more leverage as a screwdriver while the full 180 degrees can be used as a prying tool and is best for opening can lids or even soda cans. Hey, if you made it this far, thank you so much. It would be super awesome if you could consider subscribing to this channel if you still haven't because I have a lot of things coming up that you will all hopefully, hopefully enjoy and relate to. And also smash that bell all icon. Comment mo kung ano yung model na meron ka. Dahil pag nabunot kita, meron kang chance for my giveaways. Now, let's see the back layer. The first thing that you will see right away is the corkscrew. And you'd agree that this is the most untouched tool here. Some people say it's useless to put it here. But I beg to disagree because it's rather unfair to those people who engineer this. Of course, it's here for a reason. And because... Not every tool is created equal. I think this is made with Europeans' need in mind. Why is that? Let me explain. Americans, Asians, Africans, and people in some parts of Oceania in general consume beer, whiskey, brandy, tequila, and other alcoholic beverages in a bottle with either a crown or a twist cap. While a vast majority of Europeans consume red wines such as Pinot Noir, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. And what do they have in common? Ding, 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 ding. Cork. But who would bring red wine in the middle of Mount McKinney, for example, right? Well, 
some of them do they have flat camping grounds like open field in the bush and they love to bring wine especially kapag nagahan sila ng usa gustong gusto nilang ipair yon sa red wine and aside from pulling out cork you might find other uses of a corkscrew you can use it to drill a hole into a wood if you need to make a trap or untangle paracord and if you lift the corkscrew and look at this corner right here you will see a hole where you can stick a pin to that you can use to remove a SIM card from your smartphone. Now, another tool that I hardly ever use is this parcel hook. But wait, because this can actually be a lifesaver in situations like this. <laughs> nah, just joking. But seriously, you can use this to hook wire handles of a hot pot or twist wires together with it. You can also use this to pull things out from somewhere your finger could not reach easily. Or perhaps serves as a crochet hook. You'll find uses for it. Just use your imagination, man. And of course, there's a reamer, a sewing awl, and a punch all in one tool. And this can be used to repair thick fabrics such as cordura nylon that you will see in most bags and tents today or even anything made from leather just be reminded that this edge right here is extremely sharp and be mindful when you're closing it do not put your finger here when you're closing it kasi madadali ka talaga nito it's very sharp meron din siyang toothpick which is a standard tool that you will find in most swiss army knife which I found to be very useful, especially when dining out. For me, hindi ako gagamit ng toothpick pag kumakain sa labas or pag kumakain kahit saan. Kasi mali mo, may sira ulo nagbalik ng toothpick na sa lalagyan. Oh, dude! Oh! Ew! Dude! Oh, no! Some people would use this to clean their AirPods. And that I think that's a clever idea, but I would say pass. You can replace it with a ferro rod, which you can get from a third-party company because Victorinox does not issue it. And finally, there's a tweezer, uh, another standard tool that you'll find in most Swiss Army knife. This is an effective tool to pull out splinters, or if you have a short fingernail, you can use this to pick up tiny objects, right? <sighs> So in conclusion, I think Victorinox Huntsman is a great and incontestably one of the best budget-friendly multi-tool in the market. It doesn't have everything na gaya ng crush mo, pero siguradong palaging merong kang paggagamitan nito. At kung di mo gusto yung corkscrew, you can get a Victorinox Fieldmaster which is basically a Huntsman but has a Phillips screwdriver instead. And what else could be improved? I can't exactly tell if there's any. I think it's an excellent, well thought out design and as someone who loves outdoors, I think it's perfect. But let me know in the comment section if you think otherwise. Okay? There you go mga chonga chang. I hope you like this video. Share mo sa mga katropa mo na mahilig umakyat sa bundok. Hindi ng bahay ah. Siguro umakyat ng ligaw pwede pa. And before this video end, I would just like to briefly announce that I am planning to give away something to my loyal subscribers once we reach 1,000 subscribers. It is very important to watch all my videos from start to finish kasi merong mga hidden codes dyan. Alright, it's time to let you go for now. Once again, this is Albert reminding you to always be tactful and thankful because whatever you're going through, kere mo yan. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.